Hey everybody, how are you doing today? It is August 20th, 2020, which just is crazy that we're getting into the end of August now, you know, already, and I got all the kids going back to school, and, um, things are really, really starting to, um, to show their color, I guess, you you know, you could say. Yeah, I'm starting to see in so many different um, news articles and um, just everything that I've been paying attention to and digging into, I have some really, really good information that I want to um, show you. I mean, it's going to be a longer video. It will probably take me a day or two, uh, but pretty much it has to do kind of with this, okay? Um, but in the United States, how... These quarantine facilities are not just happening in New Zealand, they're not just happening in Australia, but they are happening everywhere. And I want you to realize how close we truly are to it happening in the United States, okay? And kind of here, I'll just show you this one quick part, okay? Right here is what's really going to happen. President Trump eyes the Insurrection Act of 1807 to quash violence, okay? Now, the last time that the Insurrection Act of 1807 was used was in the riots in 1992, okay, when they brought the military in. But he is going to use it now. And what is it going to be for? The protesting that is going on, okay? So we've been talking about that, but I have, I have a whole video I'm putting together about why you better keep your eyes right here because this is all about to go down. And if you can't tell, it's already happening in other countries, right? Here we go. New Zealand sends 500 military staff to bolster quarantine facilities. Yeah, that's right. It says, uh, strengthens border defenses amid criticism of quarantine management and still no sign of how the virus entered the country. Now, I want you to understand that they started putting these quarantine, putting these people in these quarantine facilities for a few people. We are not talking about thousands and thousands of people. As of right now, there is 75 people, okay? When they started it, there was way fewer. It, they said it was one family. This is how serious things are getting that you need to see, okay? They are locking people down, putting them in quarantine facilities for a few people having this so-called virus. says an additional 500 Defense Force personnel will be deployed to patrol New Zealand's quarantine hotels as the investigation continues to track down the source of Auckland's outbreak more than a week after the first cage cases emerged. The military will also be deployed to monitor New Zealand's maritime borders, the ports, as testing of thousands of staff at the ports in Auckland and Taronga continues. You see that? Testing of thousands of staff okay my point is the military will be there to monitor well what do you think they're gonna do when they monitor oh you got it come with us right last week new zealand recorded its first case of locally transmitted cb19 in 102 days and the prime minister Jacinda Ardern, Ardern has placed Auckland into a two-week level three lockdown to control the cluster, which now has infected, yeah, see, 75 people and is tracking to be the largest cluster the country has seen. I mean, we have to be, this is just crazy, right? You just, you're putting this on lockdown? I mean, everybody's got to see this. This is, and you got to remember too, okay, which I, you'll see in my next video, the one I'm working on take me a day or two, but I'm trying to line up all the dates to when everybody started locking down. Okay, remember, you know, we started in Wuhan, etc. You know, we went one by one by one by one, okay? Well, my point is, is New Zealand, when they locked down, I'm looking at their dates when they locked down, then how long did it take to get to us to lock down, okay? Because what are we seeing? We're seeing the second round of lockdowns, okay? So now if I can tie in these dates and kind of maybe it will give us a rough estimate of exactly, you know, when they're going to be putting the United States on lockdown or other countries as well, because I'm going to be looking at that, okay? Now, obviously, that's not going to be 100%, but it may give us a little bit to see if maybe we have two weeks, a month, you know, two months. What's it going to be? It says five people are being treated in hospital and 125 people from the community related to the Auckland cluster are being held 
in quarantine facilities, a new measure introduced by the government to stop the spread of CV19 in homes particularly. People, this is happening. This is not a conspiracy theory anymore. People are being put in quarantine camps. Quarantine facilities are just a nice, shiny name for them. Oh, and you want to know how many they have here? Check this out, okay? I'll try to find the article, but I already know. I wrote it down. They have 32 facilities. 32 quarantine facilities. Remember how many people they had? They're prepped and ready. Prepped and ready for 75 people. Oh, no, it's of course if it gets worse. My point is, is they've planned 32 facilities. Do you not think they're going to fill them? It says nearly 90% of the cases are Maori or Pacifica people. It says on Wednesday, Ardern said just five new cases were connected to the Auckland outbreak and that the news was positive, showing the disease wasn't surging in the community. However, amid stringent criticism of quarantine operations from the opposition's parties and epidemiologists, the government said security at the borders was being bolstered because the index case, the source of the outbreak, remained out unknown. You know, they were saying, yes, it came in. They come in from another country, okay? You know, this is all just, it's all just a big show. It's, you know, it's, it's, you know. Just seriously, the whole world is a stage. That's exactly what this is. Well, well, we're doing this because we're trying to protect every single government. It's the same thing, right? They're trying to protect their people. That's it. But it's not the truth, but that's what they're using. It comes as the high court ruled that part of the strict first lockdown were illegal, but then check this out, though justified in the circumstances. I read that and I had to read it like four times because it just didn't make any sense. You know, it says that it's illegal, but justified. And I'm going, how? How do those two things go together, right? Oh, because we are in unprecedented times. And you are hearing that, whether it is the United States, or it's Italy, or it's Spain, Australia, New Zealand, it doesn't matter. I have seen that repeated over and over again when they are taking away your rights. Sorry, unprecedented times require unprecedented measures. And sorry that you're losing every right that you have because of it, but we have to do it because CV19 is so deadly and we must take action. So don't ever think that they're not going to do whatever they want. Right here proves it. I mean, literally in New Zealand, they find it illegal, but say it was justified. I mean, come on, right? Those announcements had the effect of limiting certain rights and freedoms affirmed by the New Zealand Bill of Rights Act 1990, including in particular the rights of freedom of movement, peaceful assembly, and association. Oh, okay, so it did violate those, right? It limited those. Yeah, exactly. But it goes on. While there is no question that the requirement was a necessary, reasonable, and proportionate response to the CV19 crisis at the time, the requirement was not prescribed by law and was therefore contrary to S5 of the New Zealand Bill of, Act, Bill of Rights Act. The dates in question were March 26 to April 3rd. A new order on April 3rd remedied the breach. I mean, this is just crazy. The additional 500 personnel en route to the government's quarantine hotels would make the military response to the disease the largest operation since Tamora Listy with a total of 1,200 soldiers on the ground. And I'm sure I'm pronouncing these wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, Arden said, despite the boost, ramped up testing, and the use of personal protective equipment, border control would never be perfect. See, they always leave themselves out, right? Same thing they're doing in the U.S. and everywhere else, right? Because even though they're putting in all this military, they're locking everything down, literally putting people in quarantines and locking down the borders, locking down, you know, all the ports. Still, they're going to have to say, what? It's not perfect. Just so they can say it's still going on, right? It's still spreading. Oh, we had a cluster here. We had a cluster here because if they said that, oh, if they don't say this, then everybody's going to be going, well, why isn't it working? You're locking us all down and it didn't work. So stop locking us down because it's not doing any good. They always leave themselves back doors out of any situation. The move comes after a private security guard leaked information about quarantine guests. A situation Ardern said would not be repeated as Defense Force staff would soon take their place. Here we go again with this word, right? I've been trying to, you know, push this so people understand it. 
Defense Force. Well, what do we have here? You have your VAX, what, Task Force. You have, you know, your Military Force. You have all these different things that are Task Force or Defense Force. The word is there. Force. That's what they're going to be using, okay? Our intention is to stop using private security contractors, particularly in the riskiest places, such as entry and exit points in public areas, and replace them with Defense Force staff. This is just, it's its nuts. Oh, here, they do talk about it in this article. Good. New Zealand has 32 managed isolation and quarantine facilities. And since they began operations, what, four months ago, more than 40,000 people have spent their two weeks there. Do you see how they try to put that in there? That is put in there so it's like, well, look, they spent their two weeks and they got to go home. Everything's safe and good. Yeah, right. It goes on to say, Megan Woods, the minister overseeing quarantine facilities, said, while the current community cluster has not been sourced to a managed isolation and quarantine facility, nothing is fail-safe, and strengthening security is a step we believe is useful. That is what you need to please take out of this entire article. Strengthening security is a step we believe is useful. You are going to hear that over and over Epidemiologists have expressed disappointment with government's manage of its high-risk borders, saying it showed complacency. The opposition National Party leader Judith Collins has also slammed management as shambolic and a massive failure. Does this all sound like another uh, United States, right? Another election thing that's going on? That's all you're hearing right now in the United States. Oh, Trump was a massive failure. He didn't take this virus seriously, etc. You think it's kind of a coincidence that that's happening everywhere when these elections are happening? Hmm. They got to have something to run their party on, right? Well, what are we going to do? We're going to take CV19 seriously. We will get the testing in the places we need and we will get the National Guard taking control. Yep. People are begging for it. It's pretty sad. But let's finish this up. It says, on Monday, a hotel worker at Rigens in Auckland tested positive for a strain of CV19 separate to the Auckland cluster. So far, no more cases related to the hotel worker have been discovered. See, so they're going to start saying this thing is mutating and etc, etc. That's why they can't stop it. And that's why we have to put on full lockdowns, full everything until what? Mandatory bags, which is exactly what my next video will be. It will be out about half hour an hour later after this one and it's about australia because they already came out and said it was going to be mandatory but now they're backing down and saying oh we didn't mean it we didn't mean that because everybody made a big roar about it oh they meant it you know it says meanwhile a tourist who visited hobbiton in the north island made famous by peter jackson's lord of the ring films has tested positive for cv19 the visitor who has since returned overseas visited hobbiton on 7th of august my sister's birthday ha, and tested positive once arriving back in their home country hobbiton Dep deputy chief executive shane forrest said the risk of anyone being infected was very low but all staff who worked on that day had been made aware of the case i mean are we kidding ourselves right a virus that even they say is only killing a minute, very, very, very small amount of people. You didn't all this? You're seriously writing an article and telling us about one person? Wow. Another one? Oh, a tourist? Come on, people. Really? We're locking down countries because of one person, two people, 75 people? Yeah. Yeah. The numbers don't add up. You know they don't add up. So continue to share this information. I will get this edited, get this out to you so that you can get this information and share it, hopefully. And um, just continue to pray against this. There's a lot going on. And I, I truly, myself, have been getting, you know, a lot. I've been getting attacked spiritually every day. It seems like I just have something go wrong. But it's all right. I know that I beat it every day by continuing to talk to everybody, continuing to get out the truth, get out God's word, and continue to do this because, you know, the more we are pushing, you know, the truth and pushing God's word, the more we are going to be attacked. That's just going to happen. That's that's part of it. But we are all up for it. At least I know I am. I'm not stopping. I'm not giving up. So I'll get the information out to you. I love you all. Continue, continue to talk to your families and make plans because things are running out. Time is running out. 
you are running out of time to where our country, your country, wherever you're at, you may already be in one of these mandatory quarantine facilities, okay? Or a lockdown, because that's, that's where this is headed. So everybody stay safe. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.